you can become rich hauling cargo. Or can you? I'm Greyheart. Welcome to Highball Haulers. With the release of Star Citizen Alpha 3.0, we now have the first iteration of the cargo mechanic. As with the first time for anything, there are some issues. Over the holidays, I found that there was no cargo available at any port. That problem seems to have been fixed. I haven't been able to actually haul any cargo due to the throttle problem with HOTAS. Every time you bring the throttle to zero, as soon as you start to maneuver, or even wait a few seconds, your main engines start thrusting. With your gear down, you may only move forward at 4 meters per second, but that's more than enough to ram your caterpillar into the walls at the Levski landing pads. I have, however, been able to make some money by arbitraging cargo. I want to thank Board Gamer for pointing this out. He tells you exactly how to do this in his video, which I've linked to below. For some reason, each strut at Port Olazar is considered a unique port. That means the cargo prices on each strut can, and usually are, slightly different. By going to each strut and finding out what the buy-sell prices are, you can find some cargo that has a higher sell price at one strut than the buy price at another. This is called arbitrage. The term arbitrage is used widely in the stock market. It's also become very big in cryptocurrency. Using crypto as an example, there are many times that, say, Bitcoin can be found for two different prices at two different exchanges. So in theory, you could buy Bitcoin at the exchange with the lower price, send that Bitcoin to the exchange with the higher price, and sell it there, making a profit. Of course, the practice is much harder than the theory. But since the price difference has been up to several thousand dollars, it can be worth the trouble. I spent New Year's Eve arbitraging cargo at Port Olazar. I started with 4,000 AUEC. I went to each of the four struts to find out the buy and sell prices for every type of cargo they offer. What I found was that for most commodities, no matter what strut you bought it on, it could only be sold for less than you paid. With one exception, Laranite. I found that I could buy Laranite on strut C for 75 AUEC per unit and sell it on strut D for 83 AUEC per unit. I also realized that compounding would play an important part in my profit. The more credits I made, the more credits I could spend. Which meant I would make more credits with each round trip. Struts Delta and Charlie are right across the station from each other, and I found EVAing back and forth took much less time than using a vehicle with the throttle problems. I spent the evening arbitraging Laranite between Struts Charlie and Delta. It was probably a very boring strain, but between arbitrage and compounding, I started to make a nice profit. I started the evening with 4,000 AUEC and finished with something over 7,000. This process took several hours, and I noticed as I went that the buy price on Strut Charlie steadily went up, and the sell price on Strut Delta went down. CIG has talked about running a dynamic economy, and it looks like they have at least the basics in place. As Strut Delta gained more Laranite, it became less valuable. As the Laranite on Strut Charlie was depleted, the price rose. Once I got the buy and sell price within a couple of UEC, it wasn't really that profitable to arbitrage anymore. I expect this arbitrage situation to be fixed in the first patch that comes down. No matter what strut you're on, the price at Port Olazar should be the same. After all, it's the same station, and therefore a single port. Levski and Grimhex both have only one place to buy and sell cargo, so there should never be the opportunity to arbitrage at either. That said, I expect the prices at both to be much different than at Port Olazar. That gives the cargo hauler a chance to make some real credits moving cargo. I have seen posts from people claiming to start with small credit amounts and ending up with tens of thousands of credits. This makes perfect sense if you can find ports where the sell price is much higher than what you bought for. At the moment, I have created a spreadsheet to track prices. This will work for a while, but as more ports become available and prices change frequently, 
keeping everything up to date will become more difficult. Fortunately, I have found an organization who has made that task their priority. Market Hub is all about having people at all ports in the verse updating the prices at that port and sending that information to a central location. By having a central hub with the most current buy-sell prices, members can almost be assured of making a profit. You know where to buy a commodity at the lowest price, and you know where that same commodity will sell for the highest price. At some point, CIG has said that they will make this information available to players, but that could be several years away. Until then, Market Hub could be the place to find prices. They are working on several projects to make your hauling life easier, and I recommend giving them a look. They have both an org page that I have linked in the description and an active Discord server. Once the throttle issue is resolved, I look forward to actually hauling cargo between ports. I have enough credits to start filling my Cutlass Black with cargo. Once I reach the point where I have more credits than space, I'll upgrade to my Caterpillar. I expect that having a Caterpillar full of cargo will be extremely profitable. By the time I can fill my cat to capacity, I am hopeful that my whole seas will be available. Until next time, may your hold be full and your scanners empty.